The enemy is a counterfeiter. He substitutes for the things of God. So the things of the Spirit, he's got a counterfeit, dark version. There's a spirit of here, a divination. That's a counterfeit for the gift of the Spirit, the word of knowledge. Fortune telling, a counterfeit of the spiritual gift of prophecy. The demonic realm is a counterfeit of the angelic realm. And what he offers always comes with a price. And there's always harm in it. The enemy is a liar. A lie is a counterfeit of the truth. It, inv it uses truth, twists it around. So there may be times that someone in the occult may hit on something. But it will always be mixed with lies and falsehood and harm. There is a demonic realm that we are to be aware of that masquerades as ghosts and aliens, gods, have nothing to do with these things. Even the popular versions of them that seem innocuous like horoscopes, astrology, tarot cards, Ouija boards, New Age, have nothing to do with it. It is opening a portal to a dark realm. You may not be aware, but there is now an explosion of the occult. There's an explosion right now of witchcraft in America. There are now more witches in America than there are Presbyterians in America. In the ancient world, as in the book of Acts, what we would call witchcraft was widespread. It was linked to pagan religion. In the days of Christian culture, witchcraft was taboo. So why is there now an explosion in the occult and the numbers involved in witchcraft? The explosion of the occult is often linked to the breakdown of order. It's certainly linked to the turning away from God. In the early 1960s, we began driving God out of the public square. In the spiritual realm, there are no vacuums. It will never remain neutral. If you drive God out, there will be other forces coming in. If you drive God out of the schools, back then, that was a major thing that they didn't allow prayer in school. There was prayer in American schools. They took it out. Look what is now in American schools. So it is as in the days of the book of Acts, though. We live in a world where the occult is an active force. So you have to be wise, discerning, pure, avoiding every form of darkness to give the enemy no ground, no loophole. Aware of the spiritual realm and yet also aware that God is much greater than any darkness. If you stand in the purposes of God, if your life is not in God's will, get it in God's will. Then you're safe. You stand in the purposes of God and, may, and you make sure your life is in God's will, then you can stand on the scripture that says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No omen, no spell shall have any impact. Remember Balaam. He was a prophet outside of Israel. We don't know what's going on, some spiritual thing. Realm, he tried to curse Israel, but he couldn't curse Israel because God's blessing was on Israel. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.